pretty good day, so stay tuned, it's going to be a good one. <laughs> Look at that weird looking sucker. <laughs> A nice one.
Alright guys, we had a pretty good day here on Wheeler Lake. Um, Wheeler's probably my favorite tournament lake because it's a little tougher, you know. You catch five good ones here and you got a chance to win, unlike some of the other lakes around here. But uh, today was kind of similar to when I was on Wilson in the last video. That 6 to 12 feet was probably the best. And uh, I did check back in some of the creeks and I just wasn't liking what I was seeing. I didn't see none on the beds or anything. So basically I just kind of fished gravel bars and Wheeler, the last couple years have started to get a lot of eelgrass. And uh, I did catch quite a few in that. Again, in that six to, six to 12 maybe kind of foot range that was growing. I did try some moving baits I actually, one of the catches I'm going to put on the video, I'll throw, throw a fluke type bait, and that was a jerky J, and I threw it right by this tree and nothing grabbed it, and I just decided to pitch a bait in there just for the heck of it, and I caught a nice fish out of there, so, you know, I just haven't had much luck on moving baits this year, I mean, I don't know. So here's the baits I was catching them on today. The first one was the same as the last video at Wilson. It's the Jean LaRue Biffle Hardhead, 5 16 ounce, and then a Strike King Rage Brug and Blue Craw. And the next head I was using, I was using two different heads with that same bait. And the reason is, is when I got to some like wood or some eelgrass, I would use this head. And it's almost, you can see how pointed it is, and it comes through grass and wood very good, kind of like a Texas rig. And this is a Fintech title shot, 3 8 ounce. And you see me use these before. I use the football head a lot in the summertime. But sometimes I'll use this when I'm flipping wood or some grass. But I was using a Strike King Rage Bug on that too. And I showed these before. It's got a little push pin kind of thing on there instead of a screw lock. And then you just push it on there and Skin hook it and you're ready to go. And that's how it looks. But I caught quite a few on this today. And another bait I was using today, I showed you this on the I'm Hard on the Beaver video. And this is about the time where I start using this a lot. And it's when they're spawning and when they're done spawning. And because it looks so much like a bluegill. But this is called the OSP do live SS gill and it's 3.6 and this color is dark cinnamon blue flake that's the packaging if you guys want to can see that but <laughs> this bait's got a lot of geometry on it and it it don't fall straight down it goes all over the place and it's got these two little swimming legs on there and I caught some fish on that today and another one from OSP this is the first time I'm showing this and this this is a craw bait and this it's unbelievable the action on it you know most craw baits you know they'll have the, the craws go like that well this one actually undulates the whole body does that and check out a video on it again it's the osp do live beaver and that's the four inch and it's the same color dark cinnamon blue flake i think that's what it's called but i was using that on a three out flipping hook and a five sixteenth ounce weight and I caught a few nice fish on that today too. So Tackle Warehouse does have some OSP products and they do have some of them too, but a lot of times it's hard to get the right color and the right size at Tackle Warehouse. So where I go to get the OSP brand is uh, the Hookup Tackle. And uh, actually they got a pretty cool YouTube channel too, so check them out. But uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. See you next time.